Hello, um, the purpose of this video is to tell the student how to calculate throughput per limiting factor. In exam, if you're studying ACCA or you are a management accounting student studying BSc level, okay, so you can get at least 10 marks question regarding throughput accounting. So here's an example, a company producing three products. So the selling price is given to you, material cost is given to you. Now, Remember, in my previous video, I was teaching limiting factors. The idea of limiting factor and throughput accounting is almost similar. The difference is that in limiting factors, we take in account all variable costs while calculating contribution. Here, in throughput accounting, we only use selling price less material cost. It can be assumed that f um, labor costs is fixed and should be counted as total company overhead. Now, in order to solve this question, but we look at this information is always given to you. Weekly sales demand for each product is given to you. Machine hours given to you as well. There's a um, machine hours limitation is 4,000 machine hours available for the company. Operating fixed overhead is given to you as well, which include the labor cost as well. Now. To approach this question, what you need to do is stepwise. So your job in uh, in management accounting is very hard to get all marks. So you need to do step approach. Step approach is step number one is identify the limiting factors. So that will give you around one or two marks. Step number two is determine throughput for each product. So throughput for each product is product A and B and C. So sales price is given to you, material cost is given to you. So that is throughput per unit. Now, don't be deceived by this information. The information is that you need to look further. That obviously, just don't rank this product on the basis of just throughput. Obviously, you will make a mistake. So you need to rank a product, see throughput in terms of machine hours. When you're doing throughput in terms of machine hours, so 1.5 divided by 0.5, that gives you 3.2 using calculator. So in this case, product B is the highest uh, profitable product. So majority, so first you need to allocate all the resources to product B. So limiting resources is machine hours. Okay, as you stay in the question. So rank the products. So first is product B, product C is second, product A is third. Till here you're getting almost half of the mark so the next step is very easy as well so product b is your top priority produce all 4000 unit demandable unit so allocate the time which is 0.2 hours for each unit and that will be total hours spent and throughput per hour is five dollar so altogether is four thousand c is the second one that will eat 1500 hours Okay, $4 is the throughput for each unit uh, per hour and then times by this. So that gives you 6,000. Uh, the remaining hours left is 1,700. As, as you say, total hours is 4,000. Throughput per hour is 3.2. So that is give you that much. So add them up, less operating expenses. That give you profit per week. Even if it's you calculating for a month, still it's not a problem. So one more time. So step-based approaches. So step number one is identify the limiting factor, uh, which is machine hours. Number two is, or in short, you identify the bottleneck. Number two is find the throughput for each product. Number three, throughput in contrast with uh, machine hours and then ranking. Number fifth is allocate the hours to produce the one with the highest throughput per unit, uh, per machine hours, and then followed by second and third. If you have any queries, you can drop me a comment and I can do more calculation. Uh, please subscribe uh, for more videos. If you're studying management accounting, financial accounting, corporate finance, uh, I will prepare videos for all these subjects. Thanks for watching. Bye.